In today's video, I'll be showing you guys some new Blender add-ons, which I'm positive many of you will find useful and interesting. Ranging from modeling, texturing, lighting, and adding imperfections to your scenes, because there is a lot to cover. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Stamp It. What this add-on does is that it defines the old ways of adding decals to your objects. And from what I can see, the goal of this add-on is that you can add as many decals as you want, like by using any custom images of your choosing, all inside of the shader editor, so you won't have to add any extra objects. And the way it works is that it gives you an empty controller to fully control the location, rotation, and scale of your decal. And what I found so useful about this add-on is that you can layer different decals on top of another. In addition to being able to change the order of your decals by changing the order of your nodes. In addition, it comes with a special tool for making alpha cutouts that can be directly seen on your object. And this means that you can use now different images as booleans as you won't even have to worry about adding geometry or having to fix it in the first place. But let's now move to an add-on which is all about turning your 3D objects into brushes and textures. I'm talking about ZShot, which makes it possible to generate various types of brushes all from your actual 3D objects. And what I find cool about this add-on is how easy it is to set up and use. Well, you could say that there is no preparation needed because everything is taken care of automatically for you. All you have to worry about is adjusting the settings of your camera, resolution, aspect ratio, and border padding, or you could even use a custom plane to manually select the area of your brush. Okay now, so I told you that you could easily generate various brushes, but what type of brushes you may be asking? Well, what makes this tool handy is that you can get a couple of modes to select from, which enables you to generate alpha brushes, height maps, normal maps, curvature, ambient occlusion, vertex color, opacity, and much more. Which makes this add-on a very valuable solution for those who are into sculpting. Before we continue, do you want to create environments like these? If the answer is yes, then this course by Max Hay is the perfect pick for you. Throughout this training, you will learn how to build each of these environments from scratch, picking up along the way important concepts like composition, modeling, lighting, rendering, and so on. You can also check some of the stuff people created following the course. Another bonus for choosing this course is getting the full fantasy slash sci-fi asset packs, which is fantastic. And to check it out, you can click the link in the description down below. So for making brushes, let's go now to lighting with the Gobos Plus add-on which is a collection of multiple global lighting presets or assets that you can freely use to make renders and lighting setups more interesting in a way that I would say is more efficient. What I think makes this add-on worth getting is that it comes with a couple of procedural gobos, which are fully customizable and some of them even are animated. This add-on comes with over 53 presets, which gives you many effects to choose from like cool laser grid, water caustics, lighting arrays and grids, patterns, ring shapes, and of course we can't forget the animated leaves, windows, and blinds. What I personally really enjoy about this add-on is the possibility to mix between different animated gobos by diving into the shader editor and making your own presets using a couple of mix nodes. So, if you want to accurately measure your objects using a couple of dynamic features, then you probably want to take a look at the Measure Better add-on. It allows you to add measurements as a 3D text object in your scenes, which enables you to easily customize and annotate and even have the possibility of rendering them out. And what's even better, your texts are fully customizable, which gives you the option to adjust the text color, size, as well as the unit suffix to suit your preferences. I should also tell you that the add-on supports measuring multiple objects or edges simultaneously, including complex meshes. In addition to the ability to show 
or hide all the measurement annotations. In case your viewport gets too crowded or in case you want it to be discreet. Notably, the add-on also accurately captures measurements regardless of whether the scale has been applied to objects which solves a problem that all of us Blender users suffer from sometimes, especially in product design, ArcViz, or architectural projects. One Click Dust is a Blender add-on that is all about adding dust to your scenes. And if you're wondering why this add-on is gonna be great for this task, well, it gives your objects and scenes those little specks of dust and imperfections which can make your scene look more realistic. And One Click Dust, as its name suggests, will enable you to add procedural dust on top of any mesh that you choose. And since it is procedural, you already know that it has a lot of customizability that comes with it, which can give you control over density, particle size, and distribution with intuitive control, which as a consequence helps you create something that looks interesting. In addition, it has the ability to add dynamic floating dust particles onto your scene. And yes, the particles are dynamic, which means you can do a lot of fun stuff by adding custom colliders. Also, you can customize these particles by changing the density, distribution, and more. Now, let's take a look at the hand-drawn line generator, which is a neat tool for those of you who are looking to add that cartoonish or stylized line art, especially when it comes to your renders. And what I like about the add-on is that it doesn't require you to change the way you approach your scene, since the entire effect is done in the composition. And the add-on comes with three different modes, offering different effects that you can even customize by adjusting settings, which gives you control over the light thickness, size, and color. And you can take it to the next step by automatically making edges and areas to be affected by the hand-drawn generator, which is a useful feature that you might want to play around with. In my opinion, this add-on is a really nice solution for many use cases and can be used for animations and even for visualizing architectural elements like floor plans. Now, with something completely different, we have Aged Effects, which is an add-on that is all about adding aged effects or aging effects onto your textures by using shader nodes to add those worn imperfections that you can see all around you in the real world. What I think is useful about this add-on is that it makes adding effects like dirt and dust a simple process and you're not sacrificing any performance when doing so, because it is all procedural. And when it comes to these agent effects, you can use nodes for edge wear, adding scratches, adding dynamic dust on top of the object, and so much more. But it doesn't stop there, since it introduces the ability to add cobwebs hanging around your objects, which is just interesting. In addition, it lets you add volumetric fog for that atmospheric look plus a dedicated tool for adding flying animated dust particles, which are of course customizable. And if you want to create something even more realistic, especially when it comes to your scenes, you probably want to take a look at Easy Atmosphere, which is an add-on that simplifies the process of adding atmospheric effects by adding depth fog and height fog. And it works by adding dedicated shader node groups to all your preset materials in your scene and it allows for quick and intuitive management of fog settings through a centralized UI panel. And of course, you can easily adjust fog color using a color ramp and access five default presets for instant atmosphere creation. But we can't forget about the customization options, which allows you to tweak your depth fog and height fog effects via numeric panels or color ramp nodes for extra control. This add-on works especially well with alpha materials like tree leaves in addition to similar stuff. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.